hello guys welcome back to my channel this is maram your girl with another inspirational video and also another ultimate reality tv show <laughs> As I'm doing this video, they are doing their diary session. That's Auntie's lounge. David was in in the diary lounge, and David was asked that, "Do you love Rosie or do you love Press?" And then David responded that, "I love Rosie, just to be a friend, but not beyond that. You know, sometimes you can love people just to be close to them, but not beyond that. But I'd love Press for the future. So, what does it mean? Does it mean that when David was with um, Rosie? he was really playing a game he was not there for marriage because he said that he loved um press for the future but rosie just for the moment and auntie asked ask him it is that you love both of them or what i'm not really understanding you and he continued saying that um i like her i don't know it's like most of the men in this house they don't really know what they want and then david you have met Precious before. I don't know whether you share the same school with Precious or Precious younger sister. I'm not really sure about the story. But I learned that you knew Precious even before coming to the house. And the Precious even knew that you are in the house. So I can't really say the reason why you are just contemplating moving from here and there. For the moment that you saw um, Precious and you know that he's the kind of woman you want, you should have not giving hope to Rosie so now have not broke her heart she's heartbroken she's trying to be smiling and she also said that Rose is a nice person Rose has a clean heart see what has happened yesterday Precious came to meet her and she was so nice and so open to Precious and she said her mind and that's how it's supposed to be now she have cleared her mind she have moved on and now she have gave assurance to um, catch it that it's you and it's you alone I don't need any palaver so David I am happy that Rose has forgiven you for what you did, but it's not good to hurt a woman because you have younger sisters. You have, you have so many people who are women and what goes around comes around. So men, hmm, if you don't love a woman, allow her to go her way. But sometimes people can be very stubborn. Even if you tell them, I don't love you or I don't want to be with you, they will still be there because of their emotion. So I think in this kind of relationship, there should be no emotional attached to it. And Rosie has faced it, she has cried over it, she said she has prayed over it and now everything has cleared out because she has cleared her conscience. She has said what she wanted to say and now she is moving on and I wish her good luck with Kachi. There is no day I'm going to do a video, I want to talk about Rosie because it's like she's the... And guys, let's move on to another one. Guys, this particular one I'm saying right now, I was so emotional and touched yesterday because Sylvia, Sylvia, wow. She has been forcing herself to Jerry. If you push a man and you push a man and until the man do what you want, you will never enjoy that relationship because the man will not be comfortable being around you. He has been asking the same question to Jerry. Do you love me? Do you want me? And Jerry said that I don't want you, but I like you as a person. What do you like in me? And Jerry is very diplomatic and I Jerry, you can be a politician. Jerry doesn't answer question directly, but any question he answered, he always think very carefully before he answered the question. I was surprised yesterday. He was so, so diplomatic. Why do you like me? He said, I like you because you are beautiful even without a makeup. Like uh, if before Sylvia even wears makeup, Sylvia is beautiful. So she is beautiful. What are you waiting for? Do you want her because she is beautiful? Or do you hate her because she is beautiful? You based on what you think about me. That's not me. That's not who I am. But I don't really get that point. I don't know what Sylvia has done to him that is making him to withdraw back or waking him to go back. I was even thinking that it's just a game. He's just trying to test who is Sylvia, trying to see whether Sylvia really loved him genuinely. But it has... Ah, man, it's more than that. Because yesterday when I was watching it, it was late in the night, around 12 midnight. But Sylvia, oh my God, poor girl, I really pity her. She has been talking, she has been coming close to Jerry, she has been calling people to talk about her problems. She has said a lot of things to Jerry, but Jerry did not, did not answer well. Jerry just plain blank told her that, I don't want you. And the funny question she asked was, and she even asked this question to Kaki, she even asked um, Rosie about it. And she continued asking, 
Jerry, if we can swap, will you still love someone in the house? Jerry said, yes, there are many people I can still love in the house because we are still getting to know each other. And it's a little space. And she said that, no, how is that possible when people are already occupied by other people? He said, are they married? Do they marry them? Amen, boy, I like that. They are yet to be married. So you can pull anybody from anywhere who is not strongly in love. Oh, yes. It's an, it's an open house. You guys are there to, to win. So you are not there to be telling, uh, to be emotional, to say that, uh, to be doing brother and sister. No. You are there to look for your love one. If you really love somebody, go for it. Try chance. I'm thinking that Jerry is still in love with Inky. That is Inky. And also, Jerry is eyeing that lady, Rosie. So it's confusing. And Rosie has already already been attached to Kachi after David broke her heart. And Inkechi, that is NK. She has already moved on. She has picked the one she wants to be with. And that's Jay. So it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough for you to win their heart. Because their consent will not allow them to come to you. So why not you manage what you have? Just to stay back in the house, as she said. She said you guys can just be together, get to know each other, so that you both can stay back in the house. But I didn't buy that idea. Are you loving him because you want you guys to be safe for, for eviction? No, Sylvia, that was a mistake from you, from Jerry, as a man. I would think like, okay, she is there because she don't want to leave the house. She is coming close to me because she doesn't want to leave the house. So, Sylvia, that one is no, no. No, no, no. I did not buy that idea. You shouldn't say that. Even in that statement alone, Jerry can stand firm and against the relationship between two of you. You shouldn't say that. It's like you are loving him because you want to save yourself. It's like you are loving him because you have a lot to offer. Go for someone who can tolerate you. Go for someone who can love you. Go for someone who can care about you. Go for someone who is emotionally attached to you. But not just because I want to be with the person because I want to be safe. I will have a lot to offer in the house. See, the other one is no, no. Nonetheless, you are still young. You are 23. So you, can, you are bound to make mistakes. But a woman shouldn't say that. So another point I have to talk about this is, Sylvia, you are somehow corny. Sorry to say that for Sylvia's fans, but it's like she's somehow corny. She went to Rosie in the absence of Jerry and then Takashi and told Rosie that um, Jerry said that I can, in, um, um, I don't know. And Rosie was saying what? He said, I want to ask you a question before I will tell you anything. And Rosie said, okay, you can ask me. He said that, do you love Jerry? And Rosie said, I do not love Jerry. I just like Jerry for that, that cute brother. Yes. Like Jerry is a cute brother. That's how he just sees Jerry, a younger brother. And she was saying that, are you sure that you are older than Jerry? And Rosie said, I don't know, but I'm just seeing him like a cute younger brother. Nothing attached to it. Nothing attached to it. And that question, she just wanted to know whether Rosie loves Jerry or not. That's why I say she's corny. And she went to where they were washing clothes. She was there with Kachi and she asked the same question to Kachi. If there is a situation whereby you can swap Rosie with me. Can you do it? And then Kachi said, no. Kachi really loves Rosie. Die. I didn't know why Rosie didn't see this since then. Kachi loves Rosie. We ladies, we should look for a man who loves us, not us loving the man. We get used to the man, but later the love will come in. Sylvia, try to calm down. If God said that you stay in that house, no way. You can go. You stay in the house. If he says that this coming Sunday you are leaving the house, of course you will leave the house. No matter what, even if you are in a serious relationship or not. So just take your time. There is nothing to rush. This is not the end of the world. You can even come out there and see somebody who loves you. Someone who cherishes you. Someone who wants to be with you for the rest of his life. So no, no hard feeling. Don't feel bad about what Jerry told you. And I love Jerry for that by saying... He's mine. He said that he did not want you. He just like you as a person. So take that. Don't be angry. Don't be frustrated. Don't feel like Jerry has abandoned you. Instead, you were even the one who forced Jerry to couple with you. You paid up. It was not Jerry. Oh, my dear, this is a lesson to all of us who are forcing ourselves into a relationship. It must not be. It must not be. Like sometimes you want to get married because of the society. No, he doesn't want it. Okay, guys, let's move on to another couple. This couple, I am seeing that they have sealed the couple in the eyes and the presence of everyone. 
in national TV, but I'm thinking that something is lacking. What is lacking? The attitude. Yes. You know, sometimes you'll be with somebody for the sake of one or two, two reasons. I know it's attached to Bolale based on maybe it was just them, them, them in the house with robbers, they just link up. But it's like it's not working for them. Because I know he's trying to he's trying to I don't know, trying to trying to see faults in Bolale. And he said a lot of things yesterday. I was even angry. She said that Bolale is stubborn. Bolale doesn't want to listen to anybody. Everybody is coming to him to report that talk to your woman. Your woman is this, your woman is that. And Bolale has this bad voice. He she can even change the voice if she wants. But that's the way she wants to be. She laughed so bad. I don't know. Why are you why? If you say that you want to be with somebody and you want to be with someone for the rest of your life, why are you seeing all those faults? You even have some. And probably she didn't see it or say it to you. So it's just a matter of gradual thing. You don't have to force it. You can sit her down and talk to her. But he said that he has done that before and Bolale did not really give him the listening ears. So I don't know. I don't know really, but the house is scattered. That's, what, that's how I see it. And what do you guys think about it? <laughs> I think uh, we ought to watch and see how it goes. That's the end of the video. And I'm saying that you guys should subscribe to my channel and if you haven't subscribed yet, please, what are you waiting for? And don't forget to click on the notification bell so that anytime I upload a video, you will see Maram has uploaded a video. You watch my videos. And please, guys, continue supporting me. I'm there for you guys, and I love you all. It's a person in me, and I like doing it. So you guys will encourage me by subscribing. Subscribe. Subscribe. Let me dab for you guys. Whoop. 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 See you guys in another video. Bye-bye.